the primary funder of a particular group that has built a model. It first learned how to do chemistry, and uh, it was trained as a foundation model for chemistry, and it's attached to a robotic lab. And what this model does is it generates hypothesis for drugs of one kind or another, and it just generates them. God knows if they're right. And then overnight, the robotic lab tests them and gives the report overnight, and then it starts again. And the reason I'm mentioning this is this is the future model of the fusion of AI and bio, right? The AI system generates all sorts of candidates to reduce the, um, essentially, the um, search space. If you think about it algorithmically, it's an exponential with too many degrees of exponential. So you have to come up with some way of reducing the space. So this particular group is using AI to reduce the space, run the things, and so forth. Their objective we'll see if they pull it off, this is a research project, is to identify all human druggable tar targets within the next two years. If that occurs, then that information goes straight into the drug industry. Now, it's a different way of thinking, and it's profound in that it gives them the targets they need to go build drugs against. That's interesting to me. It's the com combination of AI and a robotic lab that does something in a wet lab, essentially. So one model that you should think about is wet labs will be roboticized, and the wet labs will have arm, they're essentially, they're not humanoid robots, they're arm robots, and they go boom, 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 and they, and they do the pipetting and so forth and so on, and they do it 24 hours a day. That's a major change in the way bio, bio, the biotech industry works.